What's up everyone, I'm Ron Carter and today we're gonna to be talking about the nine things that poor people do that rich people don't. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you stick around for the whole video because I'm dropping super massive value bombs to help you get out of that poor mindset in case this is you, any of the stuff that I'm describing, the things that poor people do, the nine things in case this is you, make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly what I've been doing to get out of this mindset and what you can do too. But that being said, Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Number one, poor people watch TV and rich people read books. Rich people read books. They seek for more information. Poor people sit back and they just, they just try to escape life through TV, through different things. They don't take control of their situation. Rich people are always, it's the exact opposite. We don't waste time. What's the next thing that poor people do that rich people don't? Poor people get paid based on time and rich people get paid based off of results. I just came home from work. I have a day job. See, I used to be in this poor mindset. I can, I can faithfully say that I am a rich person who has a poor person's job at the moment that I'm recording this. But I know that I'm hitting my goal this year, getting to 120K from my online marketing. And that day job will be a thing of the past. Poor people get paid based off of their time. This is what they expect. They expect to do a certain thing, to spend some time with something, and then they get paid. They get a result immediately. Like a poor person might expect to do a YouTube video like this and then expect to be able to get sales for whatever they're doing after publishing one video. Uh, but it never happens like that. You know, rich people get paid based off of results. Uh, earlier this year, I got paid to build uh, a money-making website for somebody. They paid me $1,000 upfront to be able to build this website to sell one of their products. And it didn't matter how long it took. What mattered was the result. They paid me the $1,000 and it took me a month or two to actually finish the project so that their website was up, it was working, their product was selling. It wasn't about just uh, doing a certain amount of time of work. It was about the result. Rich people understand this and poor people don't. All right, so the next thing on the list that poor people do that rich people don't, okay? That rich people don't. Poor people think they know it all. They know everything. They know everything about every other person. They know whatever, they know all the celebrity gossip. They know all the reasons why things don't work and why they can't move forward and they leave no room to grow. Rich people, on the other hand, they know that they don't know everything. They know that and they consistently seek to learn more. They consistently seek to level up and get 1% better every day than where they were before that. And that is the trademark of a rich person. Well, not really. Our trademarks, they're actual things, you know, but, but you guys know what I mean. And next on the list, poor people have a lottery mentality. They think the only way that you're gonna make something happen or achieve something great is by winning a lotto, buying a ticket, or being, being some winner of some contest. Rich people know that we create our reality, that we create the, uh, the achievements that, that, that we go out and that we go after. We know that there is no lottery to win. We create our own luck through consistency and focused action to achieve our goal. Poor people focus on saving. Rich people focus on investing. Whether you're investing in art, whether you're investing in antique furniture, <laughs> whether you're investing in yourself rich people know that this is priority over saving a few dollars here and there for a coffee or a night out at the movies with your friends spending to be able to have leisure time as long as it fits in your schedule is what we're gonna actually need to do to be able to move forward every day and really grind and stay focused you have to have leisure time and and for some of that we have to spend and rich people are aware of that and we know that Poor people focus on pinching pennies wherever they can, and rich people focus on spending money on their education, on their tools, on the things that we're going to use to level up and bring in more cash flow. Next on the list, next on the list, poor people believe that money is the root of all evil. Poor people think that money is the root of all evil. They think that all oh, these rich people must be maniacal and, and evil and, and bad. And if, if, you're, if you're getting a lot of money doing something, then you must be doing something wrong. <laughs> right? It's, no, that's the exact opposite. Because rich people know that poverty is the root of all evil. 
poverty is the root of all evil. Go to any poverty-stricken neighborhood. What do you see? You see crime. You see drugs. You see, uh, you know, like prostitution rings. You, you see all kinds of people from all walks of life doing all these illegal activities just so that they can get money. Now, if you go to a nice neighborhood, right, let's say you go to Beverly Hills, how much drug dealing, prostitution, and, uh, and, and break-ins and homelessness and all this crazy stuff do you think you see uh, in Bel Air or in the Pacific Palisades or Palos Verdes, California? I'm using all of these areas because they're around Los Angeles and I'm aware of them, highly affluent areas. You don't see that stuff there. As Dan Locke once said, nobody ever pulled up to rob a bank in a Rolls Royce just doesn't happen. Next, very important, rich people don't try to show off their wealth. They're not concerned about what other people think. You know, I've been wearing these jeans with holes in them for the last year, and I don't care. My other pair of jeans that I wear, did you just hear what I said? My other pair, right? I'm not concerned with buying all the new fashion trends and the latest things to impress people that I don't know. I'm not concerned with that. My other pair of jeans has holes in them too, and guess what? They didn't come with them when I bought the jeans. You know, these holes, they came with the jeans. The other ones, that's just from wearing it over and over again. And guess what? I can care less what anybody thinks about it. So rich people don't care what other people think about them and their style and their clothes. And they're not always up in the latest fashion. They're not trying to show off their wealth. Poor people are spending too much trying to impress tons of people who they don't even like. Another thing that poor people do that rich people don't is they, they overspend on purchases. They buy small things that are more expensive because in the short term, it seems like the right decision. Rich people don't do this. For example, when a rich person goes to a grocery store and they see that the toilet paper is completely on sale and it's way cheaper than it usually ever is, well, they'll buy four or five cases of that because they know that they have the storage for it and they're willing to spend more now to get it overall for a cheaper price. Whereas a poor person will go into that same grocery store, see that same sale, and it's only on the 24 rolls of toilet paper, and they're gonna go and they're gonna get the four pack for a dollar, for two dollars. Because it's cheaper in the moment, but they're paying more per roll. Rich people, they look at the long game and they strategize for every decision that they make. Poor people just flounder through life. Do you see? A commonality here. The biggest tip of them all, the biggest tip that I can give you for this, that I can give you for this so that you can have a rich mindset and not be like all these other people with poor mindsets that are making these decisions day by day that are keeping them stuck. The biggest thing that I can share with you is that poor people, they just go day by day throughout life. They take life as it comes with no control, no direction, or no resolve to change their situation. And rich people, they have a vision. They see where they want to go. And not only do they have a vision, but they reverse engineer that vision. They take that vision where they want to go over the next year, and they break it down into quarterly goals. And then they take those quarterly goals, they break it down into month chunks, and then into a weekly to-do list so that they can actually execute on those goals and as they're executing they keep track of everything so in other words they live their life with purpose towards their vision and they build what they know that they want let me share with you exactly what i mean i'll share my screen real quick and you can see this is the compound that i'm buying from my mom in five years my mom and my family central california we're gonna buy a big house anyways that's just part of my vision um, but that's not really what I wanted to show you. I want to show you guys my weekly schedule, right? So like every day here, you see Monday, YouTube videos, Tuesday, emails, Wednesday, Facebook posts, Thursday, calls, Friday, YouTube videos, Saturday, email, you know, Sunday, accountability and clarity. I know exactly what I'm doing every day. When I click on these, you can see what I have, right? I got to wake up at 4 a.m., go for a jog. I actually didn't do this stuff at the right time today, but I got it done. You know, meditation do all tasks below and then every day I know exactly what I need to do to move forward in my business and to hit my goals so that I can get here this is something that poor people don't do 
Uh, they just live day by day, like how it comes. And then when they don't get to where they want, they think that it's somebody else's fault. So don't do that today. Don't do that. You don't have to do that. And if any of you guys are wondering like, Ron, how could I like switch my mindset? How could I, you know, actually create my vision, craft it and be able to create my weekly goals just like what you showed me and have a vision like what you have and know that I'm going to be able to get there. You seem so confident in knowing what you're going to hit this year. How are you doing this? Well, I have an answer for you and I'm going to be upfront and honest about it. Like it, it is a course that I'm going through. Um, it's not my own course. It's just what I'm going through and I'm not I'm not deviating from it. I'm following it to the T. So if you guys want to get your mindset right, you want to go from poor to rich and you want to do this stuff with me, just check out the link in the description below. But other than that, thank you for watching. Love all of you guys. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe if you thought that this info was awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you check them out. We've got one right over here, over here, another one over there. Subscribe. Let's get it. Peace.